Good day, guys. Thanks for visiting Richard's Corner. My name is Richard, and today I'm continuing my mega haul from my friends over at the Salvation Army here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Now, if it's your first time visiting Richard's Corner, the idea of my channel is thrifty collecting. So I try to show you how you can shop and save the thrifty way to get your favorite toys, books, movies, video games, and more. So Salvation Army is just one of the many places I go to for my hauls. I hope you guys enjoyed this one which is another huge package, again, for $2.99 minus 60% off. Again, three videos ago I started, uh, or four videos ago now with the vlog in between, um, I, I started a haul where uh, books, media, and toys were 60% off from Salvation Army one, the, one during one weekend. Um, so at $2.99 minus 60%, this is like a steal. Like it's literally less than $1.50 for the whole package of toys. And there's so many different things here. So I would love to try to share this with you as quickly as possible without dwelling on anything. But I mean, a few Chase figures stuck out at me right away when I first found it. So let's go break into this right away. Try to balance all this stuff up on my platform and try to see what I found here. Okay, so here's a generic a cat <laughs> he's cute but a little too generic for me I'll, I'll set it aside in the animal pile because my youngest enjoys playing with animals this is a nice keeper though this is a penguins of madagascar kind of kind of um retail figure i think it doesn't have any markings as far as it being a happy meal figure but it's very recognizable so penguins of madagascar figure right there look at that i just found another uh happy meal uh top uh, this one, oh, this one rolls much better than the last one. So basically, it's a battle top in the style of um, one of the Skylanders, and this was from McDonald's, right? So you basically spin this uh, top on this part of the top on at a 45 degree angle, and then it, it'll spin. So it's kind of a cool thing. My uh, my other one in the previous haul above, um, it it didn't spin very well. So it's nice to have a, a working one in this haul. So there you go. Um, oh, I'm gonna show. Well, yeah, I'll show it to you right away. I don't know what it is about these Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I keep finding actually the scarecrow and uh, whenever I find it I have to get it I don't know why uh, it's just one of those you know chase figures for me that it's just an adorable depiction and I know I've completed this set a couple times over now finding these in thrift bags but I, it, it's just such a cute figure so scarecrow again it's a, another McDonald's Happy Meal toy there here's that wonderful Disney look at that rock and roll kind of kind of Mickey. Uh, it's got a base here, so it's actually from something like a, a Disney figure gift set. So that's really cool. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, kind of excited to see something like this and, and makes me wonder whether or not there was a, a bunch of set, a bunch of other figures to accompany Mickey in his guitar here, but that's a really awesome rocking out version of Mickey. His nose, poor guy, his nose is missing, but I think I could probably fix that with some modeling clay. So that's awesome. So really nice chase figure there for me. What else do we have in here? Oh yeah. Another Moana figure. This is uh, fra the the Rock's character. I forget his name. I'll flash it across the screen. This one's different though. It's got a little bit like. Okay, sorry. I'm jumping ahead of myself. The Disney figure that I've I've hauled before. It was one solid figure without any articulation. This one actually has articulation in his arms, and he's got this weird articulation at his waist. His head doesn't move. Oh, it does actually. No, not not really. But um, yeah, because his hair is more attached to his figure here. So yeah, really cool. Another another figure from Moana. I forget his name now, but uh, yeah, that's an awesome figure. I love all the tattoos. I love the way he's printed here. Uh, it is a little bit more rounded and idealized from the other Disney figure I hauled before, but that's a really cool second chase figure for me there. What else do I have in here? I've got some of these weird figures here. This is interesting. It's an elf-like character, and he's got these weird arms. I don't know why his arms are like... <laughs> like best mates gonna dance from Fortnite. That's so weird. I don't know why he's standing like that. That's so strange. But he's got his arm. I don't know why his arms are like that. Why his arms are like this? That's so strange. Okay. Well, anyway, there's this guy. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep him. There is a plastic dinosaur here. This one is probably ideal for for my youngest here. He likes dinosaurs. But there's a, a t uh, sorry a Triceratops figure there. Let's see if I can quickly go through a bunch of these smaller guys here. And this looks, there's a, dirt, a, a dopey little, <laughs> his, his eyes are crossed. I'm not sure if I want to keep him. And I don't know where he's from. He doesn't have, he's got a, a ranger hat on or in his hand there. Not sure who he is. Looks a little odd. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to keep him. Another uh, army guy. There's an army guy there. There's a generic cow character here. Uh, a little bit of a worn out a zebra there. This guy I want to keep. I'm not sure who he is. He's got kind of an action pose to him kind of dynamic for kind of like a, a fit nerd 
like me. <laughs> so there you go. I, I'm going to keep that one, that's for sure. Uh, here's a nice little calf character. Ooh, a Stanley Cup character. I like that. I think these I've seen these in like blind bag egg kind of things. And this is a, an Oilers uh, uniform there. And uh, okay, we've got two monkeys here. I think this is from either Hercules or... Um, oh no, it could be from um, Madagascar. Uh, so yeah, um, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, Penguins of Madagascar or from, um, holy cow, why can't I remember that, uh, that, uh, cartoon? But anyway, I, I recognize them from, from that cartoon. Um, then I've got this white stallion kind of thing there. And I've got a lot of generic -y kind of animals here. Here's another robot. I've seen this. I've actually displayed something like this on my, on my, uh, background here, uh, courtesy of my youngest here. What's this? Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. There's an orc um, minifigure. That's cool. That's a nice keeper for myself. Here's um, a sea dinosaur or looking like a, like a the Loch Ness Monster. And then here's another workhorse kind of character there. And I think that sort of ends the haul as far as notables. Here's another uh, soldier guy and another calf and a few more weird animals. I don't think I'm going to keep this. This was kind of like drawn in. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I think that was kind of a makeshift character there. Um, there's an elephant and... Ooh, what's this? This is There's a play piece with a demon on it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of different. Well, I might keep that. More generic animals. More generic animals. And I'm not going to necessarily show those off. Some sort of gun missing its projectile. I'm not sure what that's from. That's interesting. The choking hazard thing here. It almost looks like... It's a character from a movie or something. Well, I'm trying to read the... Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure who that is, but there's a character there. I might keep that. Then there's this other action finger here. It's missing some accessories, but it's kind of interesting. I like... The... It's kind of cool looking, but I'm not sure who it is. But yeah, that basically ends my haul. There's only some generic animal kind of stuff. There's some more geese. And that basically ends the haul. I think I'd have to say for myself that the Disney characters are definitely the chase for that. Considering I spent less than $1.50 for this whole thing, this is well worth the price of admission right there. But to think that I got all of this for that price is pretty awesome. So I, you know, and here's the Wizard of Oz guy. I have to say, like, it's, I think I did really well for this. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your chase would have been out of this. Uh, maybe your kids would have enjoyed, whoops, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> would have enjoyed some of these other things that I'm probably going to set aside for my youngest or my oldest here. So yeah, let me know what you thought and I hope you guys enjoyed today's haul. So for now, it is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for now. I'm going to wish you happy hunting and happy collecting and hope that all of your finds in the Thrifty Wild are equally awesome. Now, if you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe and stay in touch with me so you know what is new and happening here on the channel. And also hit that little bell icon so you're instantly notified when something new is uploaded. Again, all of your love and support for Richard's Corner is so appreciated. It continues to drive me forward on my little YouTube journey that I had the pleasure of sharing with you guys, my awesome viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, it is Richard from Richard's Corner signing off for now. We'll all see you next time. Stay tuned for more, guys, and thank you so much for visiting Richard's Corner today.